everyone, over here at Creative Kitchen and Bath with our best friend, Alison. How are you to my friend? I'm good, thanks. That's good, okay. Hungry. I went on a paleo diet once, mm. okay, and I had to eat a lot of spaghetti squash. Mm -hmm. I had never eaten it before. I'm sure that I maybe have come across it in the past, but I never knew what to do with it. Yes. So I'm glad you're going to talk about that today, and you're making the spaghetti squash with some type of sauce. Tell us well, about this. This is sauce definitely well. one of the meals that we would do, you know, for our weekly meals. And oh, I gotcha. pretty much eat gluten free as much as I can. Yeah. And my daughter and I, our family just loves this. Um, I have to tell you, you know, I love as an easy go to yeah. um, substitute for traditional spaghetti and marinara. Yeah, I and love it. And that's what we're doing. And, okay, so the most important thing is, is that what I found mm -hmm. is making sure that it is cut perfectly in half mm -hmm. and also scooping out because I didn't do that the first time. Uh -huh. It was a bit of a mess by the time I finished baking it. Well, actually, I mean, I've even seen online, like, you can actually microwave this and um, yeah. whole and get it to the same kind of texture. But, yes, what well, I like to do is cut I did it in do half that as well. and it didn't work. N not as great. No, not probably as the texture's different. Yeah, and I think you have to know what you're doing with this type of meal. When I say that, by baking it, I think is a better option for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so... So you are correct. Um, the spaghetti squash raw you take and then you um, scoop out the seeds in yeah. the center. Now what I do is I lay it um, flat on a baking sheet tray yep. and then I will put a little bit of water around it and then bake yeah, it in the I, oven. I saw you do that. Now I, what I normally do is use a, um, um, a grease paper, mm -hmm. put some alfoil on it, uh -huh. uh, not some alfoil, some um, olive, olive oil, oil. Mm -hmm. and then Bob's your uncle and I cook it. <laughs> yeah. What? I just love it. <laughs> what do you mean? Just you. I, I've never heard Bob's your uncle. <laughs> well, it means, you know, you're done. That's perfect. Yeah. So this is done. We went ahead and pre-cooked this. And the reason it's called spaghetti squash is just by taking a fork, you start just scooping that and it just comes apart. And look how easy that is. Mm -hmm. It is so simple. It really is. Now, and you don't waste anything. I mean, you get the squash all the way to the yeah. shell, and it's well, a lot. And I have to say to you, that's where I get a little bit stuck as well. I, I feel like I'm wasting this. But I also was told you should keep the seeds from the dish because you can roast them. I haven't done that. You can, but I don't think they're the same as like roasting pumpkin okay. seeds. Oh, you're, oh, sorry, I used the wrong dish. No, you're good. I just, <laughs> I realized Typical I need Troy. a dish for my spaghetti squash. So what we're going to do is you're going to take, oh, thank you, that yeah. big spoon will work so much better. You're going to take this spaghetti squash oh and it's going to go right into the bowl. Yeah. Really, there's no need for butter or anything like that. Uh, but if you want to be bad, yeah. butter and cheese. Oh exactly. My gosh. Now, I do have some cheese for later. Um, so, what I, if you would like to help me, yeah. I've just got some fresh herbs here and we're just going to chop those up. You want me to we're going to mix those in. I think that's what gives the spaghetti squash a nice flavor. Just some fresh herbs, salt and pepper, and a little olive oil okay. just on the herbs. I'll do that while you squash. make the sauce. And now we're going to make marinara sauce. Okay. So I took some t Roma tomatoes, some yes. onions, and some garlic, and for time's sake and convenience, roast it in the oven, and then you're ready to make sauce because it oh. softens up the tomatoes and it's super juicy. Yeah. It's ready to go. So good, I'm going to get that good, out good. of the oven. You get that. I have to tell you, everyone at home, this is probably one of the easiest meals that you could make. The one thing that I do love about it, I, can, I know we're making a tomato sauce to go over it as well, but I just love it like this. You know, it's just so yummy. I put a little bit of cheese with it, which I know you're not supposed to. No, cheese is <laughs> fine. Cheese is fine. Yeah, but if you're trying to be healthy and good. Well, you, know you, I mean? you could do a little goat cheese. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think of that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So how many tomatoes? You've done a whole onion there. Mm-hmm. I did a little onion and, you know, fresh garlic. Yeah. And then I use what's called an immersion blender. Yeah. And we're going to take this and just what start to kind of pulse this. Basically, you want it in a deep dish yeah. because it may splash a little bit. But the juice from the tomatoes, once yep. you pulse that, is going to go right on top. Oh, perfect. And then, yeah, some fresh parsley. If you want to spice it up, a little red pepper flake. But okay. all the flavors in the tomatoes Let's and the garlic. Let's keep mixing that up. I'm going to mix up this. What did you do with our spoon? Here's our fork. I'm going to mix this in here. Now, do you think putting the herbs in while it's still a little bit warm like helps sure. marinate it a little bit as well. 
Yeah. Would you buy them already? Oh, no, you're roasting, so you wouldn't buy yes. diced ones. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, all the flavor comes from the caramelizing yeah. of the yeah. um, tomatoes. Do and you the put any sugar well. and stuff like that? You on could. There as well? um, I actually like to use this little balsamic reduction. Okay. Um, this is one that I just have in the store and I keep all the time. Okay, good. I'm going to grab that mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. Yum. Thank you, love. Tell me when to stop. That's perfect. Just a okay. little bit, but it sweetens it up. Oh, I think I just put that on my nose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we're running out of time for this dish, but don't worry, it will all be on our website at wtvq.com forward slash Midday Kentucky. Mm. That looks good, my friend. Okay, we'll be right back after this short break. Thanks for joining us.